Oh, so many birds. <laughs> this is like the most majestic of the bosses. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, he's pretty cool. Yep. yep. Level lives up to the building, too. Yeah. Not just for the sweet tunes. Although the sweet tunes do help. Oh, this is a pretty good jam. Yeah. yeah. I love this song. My favorite is actually the, probably, I think, the hardest of the, of the playing bosses, if you don't have the weapon. Huh. Whoa. That is... Whoa! Hey. Secret That's one. maximum yeah. HP. Yep. Yeah, that is one of the eight hard tanks. <laughs> Not quite. Dr. Wally. Yeah, you can uh, completely <laughs> ignore them, and the fact, like, ah, uh, hey, hey. dang it. Uh, we'll just go down here and reset, because those Better guys like... Than trying to land on them. Yeah, because those guys like to grab you and ruin your day by dropping you over a pit. They just want to show you that they're friends. I don't really want to meet their friends. <laughs> they look just like them, there's nothing to see. Right? <laughs> totally unrealistic, you never actually get anything in the frame. <laughs> right? That is a lie. You good at crane games? No, Richard is. Right. I'm, I'm okay at them. I've gotten a couple things here and there. I got her a penguin. His name is Noble. His name is Noble. <laughs> uh, secret Dang. 2. Is that an E-Tank? That was an E-Tank. Which, let me uh, get on the platform here and I'll show you. Sure. So you hit start. There it is, the sub-tank. sub-tank. Now, oh, okay. it's empty right now, If but for every like, life pickup you get while you're already at full life, it will contribute it to that sub-tank. Which is cool, because in the previous games, they were like items you would use to refill. Right. But these are more like a permanent upgrade that when you consume them, it doesn't... Whoa, slick. Uh, it doesn't remove the item. Um, it just uses the stock that's in it. Yeah, I was trying to get a little... Uh... Little swag bonus there. Right. Got plenty of lives to free to show off. Right. I actually will be dying on purpose a little later. Okay. I bet when you actually do die in active, like that was the time when I was supposed to die on purpose. Nah, you guys, <laughs> you guys don't know exactly yeah. what I'm trying to do. That's what I do. Because I have to do it like <laughs> four times in a row. Yeah, if that was any good at this game, I would have found like a way to already get through this. It's kind of an airman vibe from this. Well, I mean, like, this is the sky to, level. Like, platform to platform. You just kind of have to wait till the thing you need to shoot lines up if you work on it. Da 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 da. Hey! Yes. Yeah, Dead guy. Storm Eagle is a very rich level in terms of secrets to find, or power ups to it's find, a really. E tank. Uh, it's one of each. HP, and now, uh, is this the helmet? Ah, uh, yes. I like how they give you some demo blocks to practice breaking. Right, yeah. The idea of the helmet is you'll find these little breakable rocks, and then by throwing your face into them, you can clear them. It just get, Basically, it gives you Mario powers. Oh, yep. alright. Oh, why'd you break two lines? Thank you. Congrats. That's all I ask. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. hey, thanks for the free ride. Right. <laughs> it's going that way anyways. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, I wanted the play action football move so bad. <laughs> you can actually, with those guys, you can uh, just go through their legs. Well, that's they like that, the though. same platforms, but they went from being like shifting up and down to being sort of your standard drop platform. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't do like a sprite change there, or maybe not have the. Uh... Hey, oh, nice. I didn't know about that. <laughs> you taught me something today. Yeah, I didn't think I'd teach you anything about this game. If you know this one fairly well. I always just went to the left and through the gates. Majestic. Yeah. It's not often you don't, you know, you fight a boss of a level without going through double gates. I do have one bizarre contention here, though. What's that? The skybox in the back is flying to give the impression as if we are, like, crashing. Because the ship is presumably after all these explosions. But isn't it going the wrong way? Yeah, that's what I mean. The skybox looks like yeah. we're going up super fast instead of down super fast. Maybe we're upside down? What a twist! That could be. But then there's so many other questions that need there's answering. There's plenty of questions already. 
But if they had just switched which direction that was going. Yeah. Well, as far as this boss goes, he had a wing and he had a prayer, but <laughs> he still didn't make it. See, oh. now look. Now it's correct. Right. Now it totally makes sense. Maybe, maybe, we, maybe he was trying to, like, no, we're a robot. We don't need to breathe. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to go to space. What if he was pulling us <laughs> up? Oh, yeah. We need Mega Man in space. Has that happened yet? Um, a couple times, yeah. Uh, Mega Man X4, the final boss rush is in space. Okay. Um... X5, your main base is in space. You know, there's only no space level, but like. Space is the place for the are main so base. Cute. <laughs> what are those called? Alright, so now hit the uh, map. Mets or. I think Mets this holes. might be. No, uh, no it still, still shows it. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Alright, so we'll, we'll yeah, show you when we get to the level, but um, beating Storm uh, Chill Penguin's level made a short change in Flame Mammoth's level, and beating Storm Eagle made a change in Spark Mandrill's level. And that one always made sense because they're adjacent on the map. Right. Short change. Yeah. What do you mean? I, I, I was just talking. Uh, it just there's a, there's a change. Oh, I see what you're it. saying. Okay, okay. And it's a short level. All right. So from here on, typically, I take uh, Storm Eagle's power and go to. Actually, I need to never. I, I need to do that anyways. You gotta hit Flame Mammoth. Yep. Gotta hit Flame Mammoth. For Mam importance. I'm gonna finish off this guy. And, uh, oh, take a break. he's so lovable. <laughs> it's, he he fights like you would imagine the fatty is supposed to fight. I know, he, I, he I figure. Well. Very slow, <laughs> very plodding. Well. It's awfully icy in here. For yes. Flame man. Now, if you came here before beating uh, Chill Penguin, all this down oh, here is lava. That's the chain. That's yeah. Nice. So that was probably my favorite thing about Mega Man X was it's that really the finished. order you went through actually affected the levels. Right. It's also. Just Nice attention to detail. Yeah, that's really neat. This game has... Oh, no. Oh, we got it on the... Oh. No! Oh, no. And, that's, and that's it. That's it, yeah. So, that look. is the... When he was talking about dying a few times? Yeah. No, that's, no. That's, that's something completely different, but okay. I am going to die on that's purpose. That's somewhere here. I would be dying on purpose a few times. Um, You get one... Sh not one shot at that, but the you, first you time... You can get, like, you two, make, but... Yeah, the first time you make connection with that first row of bricks, you kind of have to keep it going and draw right. it there. And it's right. not that easy. Like, for some reason, like I've never been able to be consistent with it. So I, I vaguely remember you doing this that It's one not time. a pixel perfect jump, but it's probably close. Yeah. It's probably like three. But there's a very narrow window for where you launch from that platform to where you can actually make connection with those yeah. bricks. The best part about it, though, is that it is at the very beginning of the level. Right, that's true. You don't have to go far. Also always liked how it's very well hidden. A lot of the secrets in this game aren't super well hidden. This one always oh, started hey, as a game look at you. I'll take two tries. I can try. So I don't think I found this one on my own. No, kid. no, someone showed me this one when I was a kid. Well, that was a pixel perfect finish. <laughs> uh, I can use it to fire up. Oh, all right. So yeah, this is the Buster charge up, which is awesome because it not only affects your regular shot, but your uh, special weapons, which I'll show you. Yeah. Okay. Also, you get some sweet. Like everything you're getting is changing the appearance of that section. Yep. Oh, like on the demo when it was showing you? Right, but now, oh, okay. like, the regular attack he takes to circle, you get that. But here... Whee! <laughs> but every power in the game has that new thing he's basically added. That was a pretty cool ride you had. Thanks. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> took me a moment. And that hard he can get now because the lava's not down. Yeah. I don't know if the lava is instant kill. Uh, when you when it's still not frozen. I don't even remember. Yeah, like I've there's I've never I'll come here. It, I'll look it up and add it. But. Right, because like I've never come here before uh, finishing Chill Penguin because there's no reason not to. Sure. Like, Chill Penguin really is like the easy boss you knock out with the Buster. Yeah, and you know also having the uh, the dash oh. boots there is kind of awesome. Oh, nice, all these secrets. Yes, another E tank. That one you need the boots for. Yes. I'll allow it. Yeah. There were two on um, two blocks you left, but that's okay. They were both like on the floor, so that's that's fine. Yeah, they're on the same plane. Yeah, so no, the last one's right. armor. Uh, I've got everything from here. No, I mean. The oh, last of the uh, suffering. of the capsule. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you flattened him. <laughs> no, he got flattened by those things that come down. That's what that I'm saying. Was... Like you got him flattened. I almost got flattened. Yeah, but you got him Oops. instead. Yeah. Right, Say you meant to do it. Uh, sure. Uh, right. yeah, actually, I thought there was two left to get, but yes, there is just the armor left. 
Ah, oh, shield guys. Although they've taken a bit of a visual turn from the old Mega Man games. Yeah, because rather rather than shooting, they uh, throw those now. Well, I mean, 30 years in the future, oh, everyone's no. going to replace guns with, you know, ball and chain right. We, we got to do Hitless Mammoth here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Achievement time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like there were achievements in SNES. Back in those days, the achievements were being able to tell your friends, Ha, I beat it! His name is Trunks. Look how cute he is. I'm gonna play it a little safe here. Yeah, I was gonna say, depending on how close you are, you can get multiple hits in on him. Like that? Yeah, like that. Whoop! Oh, oh, got no. me with the ears! The uh, ears! Oh, well. At least it starts being right back here. An elephant never forgets to kill. You spent years <laughs> playing this game only to be killed by this guy. Oh, Lord. That's all right. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, we've lost the International Olympic judges' opinions. They're <laughs> <laughs> still our favorite. It's all right. It wouldn't be me if I didn't die multiple times unnecessarily. Looks like he's got, it looks, looks like he's got some military medallion or something, or is that just a... Uh, well... That's a Sigma logo. They don't really explain the uh, the story in this version of the game, really at all. But these guys were Maverick Hunters, like all of them. Right. So they were in theory good guys. Yes. Oh no, the oil. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm guessing the oil can be set on fire, but it was fine because yeah, there's no be, fire on it. It can be set on fire, and it can also uh, like make you sticky. Like you can't you can't move once you step on it. Uh, Until so you're the exact opposite of what you would think with oil. <laughs> right. That's uh, okay. We can call it sludge. Sludge. There flammable you go. sludge. Yeah, flammable sludge. Uh -huh. All right, so fire wave, kind of a cool ability. You can uh, actually channel it, which is nice. But uh, I actually don't remember. I have, I have very many uses for it. And then the charge up is like a wave. Yeah, it's a little fire wave. All right, now I'm going to go completely out of order and try something I haven't done before. Uh, and I'm gonna go to Boomer Kawanger stage because if I get his weapon, that makes a lot of backtracking unnecessary. Interesting. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take a little break here, and I think that was pretty much one episode's worth of, of murder. Sure. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you next time for Boomer Kawanger and more than Boomer Kawanger. Later, gang. See you next year.